Squeaks? Oh, you're up early. Oh, the sun woke you up and you couldn't get back to sleep? That happens to me sometimes too. The sun is shining really brightly out there, but on the bright side, it's gonna be a perfect day for our hike around the fort. Yeah, that's the spirit. You know, we don't often think about the sun. You're right, unless it's shining right in our faces. But it makes you think, what is the sun really? Hey, did I hear someone ask a question about the sun? Oh, hi, Sam. Our friend Sam the Bat is calling from the fort's observatory. Sam is a bit of an astronomer, which means he's someone that studies astronomy. Astronomy is the study of things that are in space. Things like other planets, the moon, and the stars. Stars like Earth's sun. Yep, the sun is a star, just like the ones you might be able to see in the sky at night. And it's the center of our solar system. That's the part of space we live in, and it includes the sun and all the planets that travel around it, like Earth. In fact, the Earth takes about 365 days to go all the way around the sun. In other words, it takes one year. So if you're six years old, that means the Earth has gone around the sun six times since you were born. Cool. And what's even cooler about the sun is how hot it is. Well, maybe cooler isn't the right word, but it is really interesting. Like all stars, our sun is a ball of burning gases. You're right, Squeaks. There are also gases here on Earth, like in the air that we're breathing right now but the gases on Earth are a lot colder than the ones in the sun. Right, the gases in the sun are really hot and they make light and heat, lots of it. How hot is the sun? Well, imagine you're playing outside on a nice warm summer day. It's about 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit and you feel a little hot and sweaty. Well, the surface of the sun is about 5,700 degrees Celsius or more than 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really, really hot. Anything that gets too close to the sun would burn up. It's true. And the sun's not only hotter than Earth, it's a lot wider, over 100 times wider. Oh, good idea, Squeaks. We can make a model that shows what 100 times wider looks like. We use models to help us understand or explain something in the world around us. We can use a ball or other toy to be a model of a planet. So with a model, we can use some things we found around the fort to show how big the sun is compared to the Earth. Good idea. Astronomers use models all the time. So let's use this pin to represent Earth in our model. If the Earth was the size of the end of this pin, which is pretty small, the sun would be about the size of this basketball. That's a big difference. It is. But you know, the sun is only kind of medium size when you compare it to other stars. Like red dwarf stars are smaller than our sun. In fact, they're some of the smallest stars in space. On our model, they would only be about as big as a postage stamp. Then there are super giant stars. Like the name says, those are super giant. They're over a thousand times wider than our sun. In our model, a star like that would be as wide as a skyscraper is tall. Whoa! We need a bigger fort to hold that model. Oh, good question. Squeak says that he's seen pictures of the sun and it looks much bigger than the stars he sees in the night sky. So why is that? If other stars are actually much bigger than the sun, why do they look so small? That's because the sun is the closest star to our Earth. Other stars are so far away that even in our fastest rocket, it would take thousands and thousands of years to get there but the sun is much closer. I mean, it's still about 150 million kilometers away, which is pretty far. That means if you try to drive to the sun at the same speed you can drive on the highway, it would still take you over 170 years to get there. But it turns out that distance is pretty perfect for our planet. The sun's heat and light make it possible for all sorts of plants and animals, including us, to live on the earth. Any closer and the earth would be too hot. And if it was farther away, it would be too cold. Oh, that's just like the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. As stars go, our sun is just right. And you know one more thing about the sun? When it comes up, that means it's time for bats like me to take a nap. Hope you and Squeaks have fun on your hike today. Bye. Thanks, Sam. And thank you for joining us here today. It was so fun to have Sam the Bat tell us more about the sun. If you wanna keep learning and having fun with me, Squeaks, and all our friends, be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time here at the fort.